Taurus, these are going to be your cards for the first week of October, October 1st through the 7th, okay? You got the world, which is Saturn, and that's karma, okay? And Saturn right now, for people who are Taurus risings, Saturn is trining your energy, okay? And it is in uh, Capricorn right now with Pluto. Pluto is a planet that is actually um, debilitated in your sign, right? Because Pluto talks about change and transformation. Um, and that's the planet that is next to Saturn. Uranus is also debilitated or in its fall in your sign, right? Because it is exalted in Scorpio. Uranus is talking about change, right? Great change, radical change, and transformation is great change, radical change. The world card does have the fixed signs or of the zodiac represented here. Scorpio is represented as the eagle here up top because it's the ability to morph and change into anything, and that is great change. That's radical change. That's Uranus, Uranian energy, Plutonian energy, right? So these are fixed energies. This is saying that something has come into form and completion and something is steady. Something has built itself into form, right? And, and there's something to be said about this thing, okay? Um, it's like the seal of approval or something is even protected, you know, because of the work and the effort that you've put into it. It's karmic, right? It's kind of like when you, when you make something a part of who you are, that thing, you are that thing and that thing is you, okay? And it is saying keep an open mind, right, about everything. But it's also saying keep an open mind for those of you that are looking for love, right? Your soulmate may differ, differ from your usual type and expectations, right? For those of you that, that are out there looking for love, you know. And the world is Saturn, right? Saturn also rules Aquarius, okay? Um, and and um, Aquarius is allowing things to change and allowing unexpected things to arise that might be pleasantly surprising, okay? Because that Aquarian energy is talking about the achievement of pleasure, okay? And and the pleasure of knowing, right? Because that's what their, their motto was, I know. And then the world is a 21, reduces to a three, related to the Empress, okay? So there is some, something that can be uh, uh, respected, okay? There's an acknowledgement towards something, right? That can't be reduced anymore from what it has now become, right? It's kind of like when you, when, you get, when you get a degree, that degree cannot be taken away from you, okay? You'll always be a doctor, but you may not be able to practice, you know, even then, okay? So this could be talking about school as well. Some of you guys may have met someone in school, right, that is eccentric or different than you are, right? For a lot of you that have just gone into school, you know, if you're a freshman watching this, I, I, I don't know how many freshmen are watching this. Um, also, you know, this talks about lessons being learned, okay? And it also is talking about the work that you have to put into uh, 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 um, when you even do find your soulmate, you know what I mean? Because it's not gonna be all roses when you meet your soulmate. Soulmates are karmic. You know what I mean? And it's saying you'll know the right time. You'll know when it's right. Or you'll just know when you know. You'll be like, wow, this is my soulmate. It'll be probably something that's being said or something that's being understood or something that's being felt that is a part of your physical being, right? You might feel something, some of you, inside, and then you'll know. Because, like I said, the world, three, third house, three, empress, right? Hmm. All right. But this is also like a graduation, right? Like a graduate, a, a gradually getting to a place of, 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 where you probably feel proud about what it is that you have earned or what it is that you are made of, right? Because this really does talk about what you're made of, right? Showing yourself what you're made of too. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that for you guys, stars.